Happy birthday to me! <laughs> We are having a lot of fun out on the terrace with the Fortnum and Mason biscuits about to open my birthday presents and Michael is with me and I'm very, very, very excited. The first present is from James in Ireland and I know James, you've sent gifts before. I have a card. <gasps> Toblerone. Yes, James has sent Toblerone before. You're at that age when an all-nighter means managing to go, to the <laughs> go through the night without getting up for a wee. I'm not going to comment. <laughs> But I know what you mean. <laughs> Stephanie wishing you a very happy birthday. Please find enclosed a few of your favourite things. The decision to share or not is up to you. I hope that they give you some comfort and joy as you move down life's road ever close to that number we don't want to talk about. 120. I know, it's looming. <laughs> Lots of love and big birthday hugs, James. Though that Let's... number that everyone's talking about, Dan has now been talking about for the third year running and he did it again this year, again, <laughs> and I'm sure he's going to do it next year. So when I'm actually 50, I don't know what he's going to do. Mm. Presumably he's going to announce years. my 60th birthday. <gasps> <gasps> oh, wow. L you lucky wow. you were here yeah. right now. This is a... Oh. Aren't you Leo? James, you yeah. know the way to my heart. Yes, I am Leo as well. Maybe that's why I love the lion bars. Mm. Oh wait, hang on. You know the way to Philip's heart, do you, James? Shabby Dodgers. Lovely. I love them. And the Toblerone, what? Here's to you. I haven't seen that packaging before. And more of these. Oh, what a day second. for biscuits. More I think Toblerones. Natty might grab this one. But, but it gets even better. Yes, it does, yes. Because Ginger cake. Because of you, James, I don't think we've ever run out. We were just getting to the last one. Slight panic starting to set in. And oh, look at this. But this is something I haven't tried. Caramel, I suspect. Mm. <gasps> Marvellous creations with Poppin Pandy. Okay, I think we need to try that right now. Mm. Right now. Without a moment's wait, you open that one? Yes. I'll leave this one. Thank you so much, James. <laughs> I never tire of popping candy that never gets old. Thank you so much, James. What a way to kick off the day. I'm loving it. I recognise Amazon packaging here. Happy birthday to Stephanie and all Lalanders, and thanks a lot for all the unwrapped action. A wonderful idea, like that of another little lady and friends enclosed. Nice summer wishes de la part de Hilly. Oh. What is this pack? Angels of a Lower Flight, an amazing story of life changed. One woman's mission to save a country, one child at a time. The moving true story of a former Playboy playmate building a world of hope in a small impoverished nation just 500 miles off the coast of Florida. Somewhere between an abusive childhood in rural Alabama and the opulent life of a Playboy centerfold, Susie Scott Crabacher had lost her sense of purpose. Little did she know she would find it in the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. Convinced by a friend to travel to Haiti, Susie's trip would change her life and the lives of hundreds of children in the third world nation and renew a faith in God that had long been erased by her painful past. 10% of all children die before the age of four in Haiti. Oh my goodness. What an incredible life story. Mm. Well, Hilly, I'm very, very much looking forward to reading this. Thank you so much. Oh, goodness, thank you. That's going straight next to my bed, and it will be one of the next books that I read. This packaging is amazing. Happy birthday, Queen Bee Stephanie. <laughs> Yay! <Yeah. laughs> Bees! Oh. Oh, I'm actually the wrapping. There's a gift inside. Oh. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Can you open this one for me, Michael? I think it's full of beautiful gifts. Oh, be filled with love, be filled with life, be filled with laughter. The <laughs> best packaging. It's a flower pot hugger. Oh. So far, our pots have been unhugged. I think that is... Lots. That's adorable. My grandparents used to have that. I completely oh. forgot about that. A little, little animals. Yeah, that would climb onto the plant pots. Oh, that is... Gorgeous! Look at the embroidery. Oh, I love that! Because I love all Indian style embroidery and obviously the colour. And this lovely, lovely, lovely fine fabric. That's wonderful. This is going to be grand. I love it. Oh, what else is in here? Oh my goodness. Look at that brooch. Oh gosh. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, 
I'm going to put that straight on. Do you oh, love it socks. as much as you're going to love? It's those. hard to love anything as much as those, let's be clear, but the brooch. The brooch is quite good. How about brooch and socks worn together? Yes. Mm. That's unbeatable. With, with the unbeatable. Nice, Philip. Ooh, ooh. Good to see you're on good form for the birthday. <laughs> I thought you might enjoy the box for organising something special in your boudoir or bath chamber. That is a really pretty box. What do you think? It's very funny. It's almost like they're going towards the flowers. Yes. Oh, of course, because of the dress. But there's more. There is... <clears throat> This is the thing I didn't know I needed and absolutely needed. My actual birthday was yesterday and I rather wish that I'd had this because I would have worn it all day. This was wearing it, by the way, just to give the full <laughs> impact. I found the notes. Queen Stephanie. This parcel is the most delightful thing to open. Be fabulous, birthday girl. Oh no. <laughs> Did Daniel pay you? <laughs> Happy. 50 second. <laughs> the evil of it, I tell you. Dear Steph, happy 47th, lol. 48. I'll admit it's 48. May this year bring you a beehive of wonderful things with joy and love, Mary. It's from the wonderful oh. Mary who's made all of the incredible Christmas and decorations. And the little at the Chateau statue. Yes, and my lovely chaise long, which I keep in the bedroom yes. always. Oh, perfect. Multi fruit drop. Philip's face just lit up. Caramel drop. Michael's ah. face just <laughs> lit up. Oh, there's still more in here. Look at. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Jester gladioli. Oh, that's gorgeous. I think they are going to go straight into the garden. I would straight say in, in probably in November, is it? The English garden? The English garden, or oh, at the moment you have the mixed flower border, mm. but that's going to be moved to planting time February to June. So we, we won't plant them straight away. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that's it's a mug out of your own heart. Be positive. Okay, now that's, that's it, isn't it? When you wake up in the morning, wear this, have that. Yep. Wear, and get wear started these. for the day. And those, not in summer maybe, but as soon as it's autumn, the full look. Let's have this go for the full look. Yeah. I am not a pot. I'm not a pot plant, Michael. There you go. That's not part of the and outfit. Then, and then <laughs> one of those. Mmm, yum. Thank you so much, Mary. Oh, it's wonderful. Michael has to go now. Mm. Thanks for joining for a bit. Pleasure. Michael's back in disguise. <laughs> oh, yes. That's the prettiest disguise I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. And I have another present here, which is, I think, another book. <laughs> books. Look, tea. Tea. It's a whole book about tea. That's Gosh. so cool. I love Les that. carnets gourmands. Uh, I'll translate this. The amber of the teas of Ceylon, the copper of the autumnal Darjeeling, the crystal of Yinzen from China. Each tea has its colour, its perfume, its pleasure. Ooh. Wow. Oh, oh that's a card. Dear Stephanie, please note that this is the note. <laughs> May your birthday be as beautiful as you are. Look at that that's dress. That's so beautiful sweet. Card. I could see you in that outfit. Oh, I love it. Oh. Dear Stephanie, oh, this is better. First and foremost, happy 39th birthday! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have dyscalculia. No, no, you don't. No, you got it exactly right. <laughs> I wish you the happiest of days together with Philip and all your other loved ones. Since you're a tea addict, just like I am, I bought you this little French tea Bible. Hope you like it. Good luck with the many projects, of which I hope they will all run smoothly from now on. And it's from Anamique, age unknown. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Anamique. Oh, That's this looks funny. just... Oh, there's a whole section on Mate, so mm. uh, Natty's going to be happy there. And she's got Amory really into Mate. Mm -hmm. Cocktail teas. Tea for every hour. Right, as usual, I want to just sit and read this right now. We've got and tea gin, don't we? We do have tea gin, or lovely mariage frère teas. And then, of course, the Japanese tea ceremony. <laughs> It's going to be wonderful to read this with a cup of tea, which actually I have now. <laughs> We've had a bit of a replenishing yes, session. We do. In the B positive mug. Cheers. Yes, cheers. <laughs> We're having very different teas because I'm on my English breakfast and mm. you're on Roy Boss with bits floating in it. Yes, but I don't mind that. I love bits floating in my tea. Okay. Yep. All right, then everyone's happy. <laughs> this has come all the way from Massachusetts. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what were you saying? Ooh, we were oh. made to open gifts together. <laughs> That's well, lovely. Could you open that one for me, please? Like yes, I would too. love some help. Right. I have found the note. Mm. I love your goddess mug as well. Yeah. Ooh. I chose that carefully. There is a bit of a theme here. Oh, how cute. A little bit of a theme. Oh, wow. A, Happy a, birthday, a team. dearest Stephic team. <laughs> Happy birthday, dearest Stephanie. My mum and I started watching The Chateau Diaries back in 2020 and have not missed one of your weekly blogs since. We love seeing The Chateau's transformation and feel as though we are part of it all, in, all the way in Salem, Massachusetts. Mm. For a long time, my mum and I have been wanting to send you little tokens of our appreciation for how much joy you bring to our lives. One of the gifts we thought could serve you as a jewellery box and remind you of home during your travels. We hope to one day make a mother-daughter trip to La Lande and finally meet everyone in person. We truly wish you a very blessed birthday, surrounded by love, con amour, Irun and Rosie. Aww. That's such Thank a you sweet card. So, 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 so much. Sweet. And I'm going on travels very soon to yes. South Africa. So ooh. exciting. Wow. Oh. You know what, I'm already wearing the bee, so could you please? <laughs> yes. It goes with your shirt. Um, yes. Absolutely. Yes, there you are. You were made to wear a tiara. Yes, really? yeah. yes, you oh, are. Wear more, one more mm. often. Will, oh, however, wow. wear the sash. Yes, you can have yes. that. <laughs> Very good. Right. Oh, we got something exciting here. Oh, oh be <laughs> your own kind of beautiful. Oh. Is it a tea towel? Yes. Yeah, Amazing. Exciting. But that one should go to our bathroom. Yes. Because we keep just a couple of tea towels in the bathroom for when I make tea and just wash it up in the sink yeah. there. Yeah. I love it. So pretty. What is this? Let's stick that on the sweets. Okay. Oh, wow. There's more. Yes, there is more. I love the paper, by the way. It's, it's so beautiful. It looks so very cute. thick as well. Yeah. It is. Shall we save it so we could use it again? <laughs> Mummy, you see? <laughs> <laughs> You oh, trained us well. <laughs> <gasps> oh my. Oh! Oh, wow. That is How do beautiful. I <gasps> oh my goodness. That wow. is incredible. The two peacocks on the other side. <gasps> wow. The colours. It's glorious. That's stunning, Stephanie. Wow. Oh, wow. I really love it. Yeah. Gosh. It's beautiful. Got a lot of it's colour on you now. As well. <laughs> it's so bold. And you know, I really like bold jewelry. Yeah. Mm. That'd be beautiful with one it's of your just gorgeous. dresses. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And there's still, well, two more gifts. Really? Oh, I'm just like, I don't want to tear the paper. So I'm just. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I love it. That's so cool. Mm. Isn't that gorgeous? So, this is a little jewelry box for travelling. Oh, wow. What a fabulous idea. That's oh, I so love that. Good. Well, this will come with me to South Africa. I mean, to be fair, I don't think that I need to take much jewellery with me to South Africa. No? It's just going to be sitting at home with mummy and going to the hospital three times a day because it's visiting hours three times a day. Oh. Um, and I'll probably take a load of paperwork and admin to catch up on whilst I'm just there. Just a couple. Yeah, do you think still I need different mm. jewellery every day? No, no, not really. No, no. <laughs> but, maybe. but still, I you will take... Know. I'll take jewellery that makes me smile. Oh. I'll put it in here. Or it could be good for, like, your charger, stuff like that. That's true. Yeah. Actually, it could be great for travelling mm. uh, with a charger. Mm. Mm. All small bits and bobs. Yeah, cables. It's definitely and coming with you. If you get hot in South Africa. Oh, oh, oh that's beautiful. That is such a beautiful one. Oh, it is. I could have done with that at my birthday itself oh, uh, because it, was so warm. it would have been quite nice in the evening uh, to have that because everyone else had fans. Natty was handing out mm -hmm. fans to all of the guests, yeah. and I didn't grab a fan. You didn't? Oh, no, I it was warm, one. wasn't it? Yeah. I was yeah. sitting opposite you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it was fine. I, everyone else had the fans. I was <laughs> fine. I loved my fan. I had a white dress and a white fan. Nice, yeah. very nice. Brilliant. So this is I this one that. is beautiful. That one's very elegant. Great. Irune and Rosie, thank you so so much. These are beautiful, and you look. <laughs> Splendid. Well, we can't have too many crowns in this house. No, we can't. We really can't. <laughs> One so at a time. This is coming with me, thank you. As you can see, Marie is really on top of the gift wrap situation here. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe the size of this present. I think I see the note. Joy-filled birthday wishes, Stephanie. Birthdays remind us how fabulous we are. <laughs> Love, light, Imi. P. 
P.S. We share an August the 18th birthday. Oh, what wow. a great day. Happy belated birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Oh, is this you? Oh, no, that's uh, Mrs. Alice. But this is from Mrs. Alice. <gasps> Yeah, we really like Mrs. Alice. For those I of you who haven't Mrs. seen the website, oh they my have goodness! Some incredible napkins on the bed. Yeah. I'm trying to. I'm, so, I'm coveting. The most extraordinary mm. table settings. Also, look at her dresses mm. and her waistline. And her oh. house. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I don't know about. I have no idea. No, we should what have a look. It's quite some extraordinary. Really cool tableware. Ooh. There's also like bamboo cutlery and there's yeah, beautiful very, monogrammed very cool. napkins and there's yeah. Wow. Oh, good taste. <gasps> wow. It's oh my so gosh. Beautiful. Stephanie. Oh my oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's, that's so sweet. Gorgeous. Obviously, I'm going to put it straight on. Uh, now, I'm getting quite a lot of uh, outfits. I mean, you are maximalist at heart. It's layering, darling, <laughs> layering. It's a style. More is more. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Is that now all Bethany, yeah. correct? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I will actually just move this a moment to show you. It's it beautiful. It is so gorgeous. Look at the way it sort of it, it sort of balloons out and then comes into this little frill. Yeah. It's oh, beautiful. I, know, I love it. I love it. I love the shape. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. Or oh, is it pronounced Amy? I think I'm, I'm reading it the French way. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, we are in France after all. We are. Oh, oh wow. Gosh. Gosh. It's massive. Huge. Goodness. So what do you think it is? Absolutely no idea. No idea. Oh! Oh! What? Don't leave this in Oh suspect. my goodness! Oh, oh my wow. gosh! Wow! Oh my goodness! That is amazing! It's, it's a silk That's orchid! Oh, wow. I was going to say, I mean, I hope it's fake. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, it's been there for a while. Yeah. No, no, it's a silk orchid. And it's beautifully made. Yeah. It looks real. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. That's beautiful. It's a lifelike orchid. It is. This is absolutely beautiful. And even better, it has an outside chance of surviving with us, Philip. <laughs> an outside chance. If we can kill this one, I don't think so. So I love the look of orchids, but I have never once managed to keep an orchid alive. I've tried everything, with like adding sugar to the water and everything that people have been suggesting. Yeah. But no. No. Hasn't happened yet. Apparently ice cubes is a good thing. I've heard that too. I'm not sure about that. We haven't tried that yet. No. But we don't need to. No. This is excellent. <laughs> I'm going to find a really nice cash pot to put it in. Amy, <laughs> thank you. Really, you're putting Actually, it in a it's beautiful... A, it's that, this it's is nice, nice anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, that's going to brighten up my study. I love it. Thank you so much. This is from Emily in Oregon. Um, <laughs> hello. <laughs> <laughs> the card wow. Happy birthday, Stephanie. Oh, Ooh, wow. Stephanie, first off, I wanted to say I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Thank you for the countless hours you've spent filming and editing content for us all to enjoy. You and the wonderful community you have built have blessed me with so much joy over the past three years. I'm a textile artist who specialises in hand-embroidered needle paintings. Gosh. I use typically single strands of thread to create teeny tiny stitches, which I use as a painter would use brush strokes. I follow the contours of my subject's face, etc., and mimic the textures before me to compose each piece. In 2020, I was selected as a finalist in the Hand and Lock Prize for Embroidery. Wow. Absolutely extraordinary. It's incredible. Yes. Hand and Lock is a London embroidery house that has been in business since 1767. My piece, Crowned in Colour, was displayed in their 2021 Hand and Lock Embroidered Arts Exhibition in London. I sent Natty an invite for you and Philip, but you'd just come back from a London trip. Mm. The exhibition is held every year. If you get a chance, it is extraordinary. For your birthday, I wanted to stitch a special piece for you. I also am very close with my mum and know how special that bond is. So I snagged a screenshot of one of your Caddo at the Chateau episodes <laughs> and stitched this portrait of your mummy. And I thought it captured her joyful spirit. I entitled it The Gardener's Joy. Oh. oh, and I see that you attempted to include a bottle of Shalimar, but you've added, I'm so sorry I got to the post office and found out I cannot mail perfume or gin internationally. <laughs> Thank you so much for the thought oh, because it was my I'm grandmother's so nice. perfume, Shalimar. Oh, and this must be the piece that you 
Oh no, this is summer. It was crowned in glory, wasn't it? That mm. uh, you got second prize for. This is summer, and wow. And if anybody would like to see any more, uh, Emily is on Instagram as at Emilia underscore Beth. Mm. I'm including an archival print of another one of my embroidery pieces, Old Woman Spinning. I also specialise in embroidered icons and liturgical pieces. Due to the recent update on the chapel, I figured you don't need one more item to store right now. However, I would like to offer to hand embroider an icon of St. Joseph for your chapel when you're ready. That is so, so kind of you. I think it is a wonderful and important restoration project. You can see some examples of other embroidery commissions on my Instagram, Amelia underscore Beth, or on my website at ameliabeth.com. I'm running out of room, so I will look forward to someday visiting in person. Blessings to all at Erland. Love, Emily, Amelia. This is just extraordinary. So Your talent is mind-blowing. This is the archival print of Old Woman Spinning, inspired by the painting by Michael Swartz. Original is hand embroidered with single strands of cotton thread on linen. Mm. Can I just say the tape as well is so cute. You think it is? <laughs> yeah. Is it all tulips? What a day yeah. for packaging material. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Oh. You know, I wish Mummy were here wow. because Gosh. she would be blown away oh, by That's a print, you said. It looks like actual embroidery. It looks like uh, brush strokes. But she said it was a print, no? This is a print. No, yeah, the print is of such great quality because, yeah. of course, it's of her embroidered work. Yeah, I know, but it looks like actual embroidery. It's, uh, yeah, it is amazing quality. I had to touch it to find out if it yeah, was... Yeah, it's, it's not... Not 3D. Oh, wow. Goodness. I How can't beautiful. wait to see this. Oh, and yet there's two things. Can you open this one, sure, please? Sure, sure. There we are. Thank you. Look, this is beautiful thistle and mm. lavender as well. Mm. This says for when you have visiting mini lalanders. Oh. Oh, you are going to love this. <laughs> what is it? Absolutely going to love it. Oh. It's a twirl oh, of wow. Pooh's house. Oh. Pooh's house. Tiger's house. Piglet's house. Look at Tiger's house. So oh. sweet. I used to have Tiger's house. It's Tigger. Ah, ah. Tigger in English. It's uh, Tiger in Dutch. Tiger. And the hundred acre wood. So beautiful. Gosh. Oh, this is adorable. Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Just adorable. And what is the company? Because I've never seen anything like it. Uh, it is. It's from it's Disney. 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 It's actually wow. Disney. It's like Disney does food. Mm. And dishwasher safe. Wow. Maria is going to be that, delighted. Okay. You must have the work of art. Yeah, I think so. <gasps> oh, wow. That is amazing. <gasps> oh, my goodness. That That's is, incredible. That is beautiful. That's so oh, nice. Oh, how is it possible? So this is actually the actual embroidery then? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, wow. it's not a print, the actual embroidery. I can't get over your talent. I absolutely cannot get over it. I'm trying to think about the many hours it must have taken her to do that. It's unimaginable. That's her expression just before she pinches someone else's gift. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 yes, I needed one. Yeah. I needed that. All the paper. Yes. <laughs> Oh, ribbon. She loves twirling the ribbon during her Oh, really? Oh, look. Cute little paper doodads for whatever. Ooh. Oh, that's Very sweet. Very cute paper doodads. I think these are going to come in extremely handy. I don't know what for yet, but, I mean, everyone needs these in their lives, don't they? That's it, so. Especially the mushrooms. Mm. And there's more mushrooms in there. Mm. What can you use them for? Like a little bookmark. Ooh. That'd be very nice, actually. Well, you could put them on your bookmark. place cards on the table. Yes, that's to, true. Yeah. yeah. Make yeah. it a bit autumnal. Really pretty. Nature. Maybe if you tell him it's autumnal, then he'll he'll take them, and then I won't have the doodads. <laughs> the important things that I need the doodads for. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Emilia, thank you so much. And really, I'm blown away by your talent. We just realised that Emilia's winning piece is in the Hand and Lock Prize for Embroidery 2020. And it's incredible. Just it's incredible. Beautiful. Look at that flower crown. Gosh, she's so talented. Yeah, it's wonderful. So this one is from Stephanie, and it was brought by Sarah and Steve when they came to Patreon Day. No! Yes. Because she lives near them, mm -hmm. doesn't she? It's incredibly heavy. Oh, Do you hand? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Can I help you? Be careful with your bag, darling. <gasps> Thank you. What are you doing? I am. Oh, very strong. <laughs> She's a goddess. Well, so, I'm going to rip this. Paper. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's the oh, 
Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, how gorgeous. It's so well wrapped as well. Yeah, it is. This is the most beautiful decoupage box. And it even has an S on it, which is not that surprising because it is from Stephanie. Oh, yes, that's <laughs> true. Look, Leo mm. in the middle and angels, the dove. It's magnificent. It's beautiful. This must have taken like ages. I just love it. Oh, there are things inside. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, my Steph, oh, that's my the same twirl that we've got in, in our bedroom. Oh, I love it. Oh. It's the one that we look up at every yeah. night on the inside of our dome. It's the, one our dome. the original oh, one really? from, the, from the dining room. Wow. I can't believe this. She's so talented. Yeah, don't worry, I'll keep some for you. Oh. <laughs> I don't need it. Oh, Stephanie. Oh. Wow. This is the prettiest sewing box I've ever seen. Oh, look at that interior. Oh, my goodness. Oh. So for new Stephanie from old Stephanie for La Lande. <laughs> Dear Stephanie and Philip, I can hardly believe that I've actually finished this project. About two years ago, on seeing how you were set up for couture, I had the idea of making a simple sewing box, slightly forgetting who I am and how quickly I throw myself into something. <laughs> this is the third version. Oh, gosh. It just got bigger and bigger. The fourth version would need Amory to move it. <laughs> this was a sad old dirty toolbox that I transformed. Finding my stock of Victorian chromas gave me the idea for the decor. Collecting the contents was fun especially the tins. I left room for you to add your other things to it. I hope that you find it useful. I hope to get it to you for your birthday. Love and affection to all, old Stephanie. I realised some time ago that I'm old enough to be your mum. Oh, oh. This is beautiful, Gosh. honestly. But it must have taken out absolutely ages. Mm. It is, it is beyond wonderful. It's just wonderful. And the boxes. It's never too late to be what you want to be, unless you want to be younger. Then you're screwed. <laughs> Dear Stephanie, wishing you a very happy birthday with all your loved ones. Love and affection, Stephanie. God, thank you so I am much, speechless. Stephanie. Let's look at everything inside. Of this is this little tray? It's so beautiful. I can't with believe a, she made it. I yes. think this one was probably for you because it's a puppy collection, <laughs> all the way around. Look, all puppies. <gasps> we would I love a puppy, wouldn't we? do love little ducks and... Yes, I think we would. Yes, wouldn't we, we would Stephanie? Have... Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> then there's a pin cushion there. A measuring Gosh. tape. Of course, the white pencil to mm. mark fabric. Mm. Is that for leather? This is... This is um for tracing paper, I think. Oh. I think it's to mark the pattern where you want to cut That's the pattern. Clever. I think. And... Oh, also a pink one. Wow. Excellent. And this one is fixed in there, you see, this pin right. cushion. And this is the portable pin mm. cushion, which is also extremely important. And then lots of lovely colours of thread. Gosh. That one in there. There we go. Wow. <laughs> and then here we have, oh, what's in here? Scissors. Mm. In our own little pouch, mm. which matches. Oh wow. Oh my it's gosh. the pinking shears. Oh wow. Oh they're incredible. Look at that quality. Yes. Do you know what that's for, Philip? The pinking shears? Yes, it doesn't um, fray. fray. That's it. Does it make you want to sew something? It though? does. Yeah. Very <laughs> much so. And I think this must be the straight scissors. All the details she oh. put in. Honestly, I can't believe this. No, me no, neither. No. It's just the most beautiful thing. It's so thoughtful. Tartan oh. ribbon. We can do a Jerry project. Mm. Not too bad, 39th birthday, after all. No, it's no. a very good 39th birthday. <laughs> and I have never seen needles this big, ever, in oh, my wow. life. Hmm. Is it for upholstery? I wonder. Oh, but those usually are, are two sided, aren't I'm they? going to look that up. Hmm. You're right. What's in here? Oh. Medical kit? Could be. <laughs> Seems to be like a first aid <laughs> sign here. <laughs> After you stabbed yourself in the scissors. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Gosh. I just love everything in here. I mean, that's perfect for the bedroom, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then in this compartment are the wonderful tins that Stephanie so enjoyed sourcing, which I can put buttons in. Ah, oh, now, 
the curved needles that they are for, for upholstery. upholstery. Yes. That's going to prove very useful, I think. Look at the old-fashioned push studs. Fantastic. And even here, she put all the twirl in. It's this incredible. is honestly, this is oh, the incredible. most pleasurable thing to look through. And this little tin. Ooh, how do I get into it? How do you get into it? <laughs> oh, oh, to thread the needles. Yeah. Oh, and that's a, uh, what's it called? Oh, that's a yes. very clever one. Because you can really push down Probably that way. with your thumb, your... actually. Mm. Let's see. Because then you can actually yes. push the needle through. Yes, on that one and on that one. Mm. Double, see, that's clever. Double whammy. What's this little fish one? It's a little hook on it. Mm. Huh. There's another one. Okay, I'm going to look at what the little fish ones do. Hmm. <laughs> and in this one we have ah oh, more of the chalk mm -hmm. in different colours. Mm -hmm. Excellent. It's good to separate them. Isn't yeah. It? It's very good to have everything in its own little compartment. Mm. And this one. Oh wow. But you so useful. You have no idea. All yeah. set up. How incredibly useful all That's... of these needles are. But so many of them. It's like Oh! Those little buttons. All of these beautiful little buttons. Gosh. There's some mother of pearl ones in there as well. Mm. <gasps> Very handy. Finally, I know where to put the buttons. You know they arrive with a dress mm -hmm. and I just never know where to put them. Still exciting things, oh, wow. isn't it? Oh gosh, yeah. even more. Yeah. Quite literally That's pins. fantastic. And needles. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then there's three Little boxes. Oh wow! Oh, oh that big. big pins. Those would be very useful for upholstery as well. Yes, mm. perfect. And this, everything's covered in the twirl. More bush studs and hooks and eyes. Mm -hmm. Gosh. And the final box. Oh yeah. Oh, Safety the pins. most useful of them all. Oh, for when I haven't actually got round to doing the sewing <laughs> and still need to keep the dress on. <laughs> They're going to come in very handy. Stephanie, this is the most beautiful box ever. And I haven't even looked up here. More safety pins, needles, little scissors. Now, what is this for? Tweezers. I wonder what it's for in sewing. If anybody knows, if you could let me know, that would be wonderful. And then there's... Oh, yes. yeah. Nice. Yeah, love that. Another little um, crayon. This one blue. Perfect. And... This side is what we call the most useful side. <laughs> um, the thing I use most whenever sewing, curtains or otherwise, the unpickers. Mm. So Seam I'm repairing. glad you put three in, mm -hmm. Stephanie, because they are going to get a lot of use. <laughs> I'll get halfway through a seam and be like, oh, for goodness sake, I've done that the wrong way around. <laughs> it is stunning. And you know, just this morning, I was trying to tidy my dressing room and there's uh, a a blouse, all it needs is a button putting back on, but I didn't know where to put it, so I put it in one of my handbags. So I didn't want it just lying on the surface, so I've put it in a handbag, and now I have the perfect sewing kit. Mm. And it could have been there waiting mm. to be done. Mm. Thank you. Or you could have just done it. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> this is just the most wonderful sewing kit I have ever seen. I can't believe I have this sewing kit. I mean Honestly, and I, I still can't believe the amount of hours it must have taken her yeah, to do all no, of that. It's incredible. All the detail. Oh, it's beautiful. Intense. So are you taking on all of her... Uh, Mending and... Mending <laughs> to be negotiated. <laughs> and then that goes in there. And there. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so neat and tidy. Isn't it? That, look at that. It's perfect. Wow. Makes me want to sew this afternoon, <laughs> actually. I think that button might finally go yeah. on. <laughs> Thank you so much, Stephanie. I am in awe of what you have done. Michael, who sent often sends gifts, has sent three boxes for your birthday. And that's my last gift, isn't it? This is the this. first of the three the last, last three gifts. gifts. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Well, I'm already oh, that's gorgeous. in love with the box. Oh, Absolutely love the boxes, but I can't find. Ah, found the note. Oh, what a beautiful card! It's mm. Rapunzel. Mm. Wow. Relax and let your hair down, Stephanie. Like Rapunzel, it's important to take time off from the pressing responsibilities of shuttle and ship now and then, if only for a night out on the town or an exotic <laughs> getaway. Sorry, but Cousin sur Volvo doesn't count as a night out on the town <laughs> or an exotic getaway. So dressed up or dressed down, add a bit of bling and enjoy all that brightens your days and lights up your nights. All the best, Michael. Well, that's you, darling, isn't it? Brightens my days and lights up my nights. 
That's very sweet. <laughs> you look genuinely stunned. Where did that come from? Nice. Well, there are various iterations of this poem dedicated to nearly every state in the US. This is my own creative version written from a chateau resident's point of view and one that I'm sure all can relate to. La Lande's the place to stay. Hmm. It's winter now about the place and the gentle breezes blow, but truth be told it really howls and the temps four or five below. Oh, how we love the crisp cool air when the snow's up to our waist. Just one breath of frosty air and your nose gets ice encased. Though honestly, when winter's cold, we never sit and grouse, cause we're no fools when snowflakes fly. We rarely leave the house. Yes, the weather here is delightful, so we plan to stick around. We'd never leave because you see, we're frozen to the ground. <laughs> But this year will be different, there's no need to sniff and shiver, for at La Lande it's a cosy warmth, new heating will deliver. Goodbye, we'll say, <laughs> to chilly temps every winter season. Toasty days and temperate nights are surely one good reason. No longer will we need to sit bundled by the fire. When winter comes, we'll spend our days in casual attire. Cause at our comfy French chateau, be it work or play, now the soothing heat is on, La Lande's the place to stay. Mm. Oh. Well, I love that. Thank you. I'm I'm really scared that that is tempting fate. I want to touch wood. It's all going okay at the moment. They're the book heating. To you. <laughs> I will. But thank you. I will believe it when the heating is turned on. Mm. I cannot wait for that day. Do we think it's going to be this winter? Mm. Yes. Yes, we think it's going to be this winter. There have been minor delays, but we think it's going to be this winter. We still, think, we we still winter. think it's going Maybe. to be this winter. Spring. <laughs> we still think. Spring, great. Yeah. <laughs> Would Summer. you mind opening that one for me, please, sure. glamorous assistant? This gift highlights two recent discoveries of great importance. The first is that the Aurora Boralis, or Norton Lights, has very recently been detected on a planet 12 light years from Earth. Gosh. More astounding is confirmation that the Norton Lights have been seen at a French <laughs> chateau. The find is sure to draw scientists and the curious from every corner of the globe to the Chateau de la Lande. Be sure to call the head for reservations. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm keeping oh, wow. the boxes. Ooh. Mm. Well, so if the heating doesn't turn <laughs> Oh, it's very glamorous. Oh, it's, oh. oh, it's, oh, it's one of these that goes through. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, gosh. Oh, wow. That's very glamorous. Oh, thank very you very little much. bit of faux thank fur. You. Very stylish. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Oh, my goodness. In here. Also, I could see that on your mother, by the way. Oh, she would love it. That looks beautiful. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Beautiful bracelet. Mm. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's stunning. Oh, and, Michael, wow. you sent me those lovely blue earrings before the topaz, mm. and that will go beautifully with them. Yes. Also, the other ones that he sent, the citrine ones, you've been wearing a bunch. Ah, uh, a lot, yes. The little citrine studs, yes. I wear them all the time. Especially with my birthday present to you. Oh yes, I'm wearing Philip's birthday present to me. Um, it is underneath various other gifts that I'm also now wearing. This is most beautiful Victorian citrine spinner fob, and it goes beautifully with the citrine earrings that you sent, Michael. Okay, <laughs> right. Are you laughing at me? I just... Uh, Please do not laugh at me. It's so cosy. Do not laugh at me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's so beautiful way. on your complexion as well. Actually it is. <gasps> oh, wow. Gosh. It's wonderful. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Michael, you spoil me rotten. It looks like some sort of starry night with night skies. The rot is going to start to smell, Michael, <laughs> if it continues. People in the house will be complaining about the state of the rot. Will you try them on? I might take this off due to the heating not currently being needed. Mm, mm. Put that there, stylishly draped over that. You were right, Michael. The northern lights are sparkling at Lel Arms. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm. It's a colour. And also it's the just... earrings. Oh. <laughs> it's incredible. Thank you so much. How many is only one of three? I'd actually forgotten there were two more boxes. I was just so delighted. Oh, wow. Stephanie. Mackies. It's one of the intriguing words to contemplate as a symbol of aristocratic rank and one that is also associated with French nobility at the Chateau de la Lande. Now, after a brief absence, the Marquise proudly returns to the chateau, richly dressed in royal blue and certain to be much admired by all for her charm and beauty. Oh gosh. May your days be filled with blue skies, Michael. Marquise is also a type of chair. It is, yes, and it's also a type of cut. 
Oh. The story behind the Marquis Cut. I didn't know that. It is said there is a romantic history behind the Marquis Cut of Diamond. In France, during the 18th century, King Louis XV ordered that a diamond be cut in such a way that it would resemble the lips of his lover, the Marquise de Pompadour. <laughs> From this royal command came the Marquise cut. Notable historical quotes of the Marquise de Pompadour, to which I heartily agree. Chaque jour, je souhaite rendre le monde plus beau que je ne l'ai trouvé, which means every day I hope to make the world more beautiful than I found it. And, ce serait antipatriotique de ne pas acheter si vous avez l'argent pour le faire. It would be anti-patriotic to not buy if you have the money to buy. <laughs> Keep that economy moving. <laughs> That's a beautiful box. What a Gosh. gorgeous box. I love how it's almost like stitching oh, in gold. yes. This is coming to the study. You're sure to feel like a beautiful princess wearing these chandelier drop earrings with a total 7.5 carats of sapphires and more than a hint of sparkle with one and a half carats total weight of diamonds dramatically set in sterling silver. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my gosh. For those with hard-to-manage hair or who think one is the loneliest number, <laughs> Sorry. no matter how your hair is cut or coiffed, this casually elegant, custom-made sapphire and freshwater pearl barrette with its gold-dipped wire setting will add a fashionable touch of glamour to the most any hairstyle. The matching pearls were carefully selected for their quality and luster, while the dark blue sapphire pearls add colour and contrast that is sure to please the eyes of many admirers. In this case, you'll have no problems, as the saying goes, to grin and bear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Philip liked that one. <laughs> Oh. oh, the presentation. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh. Oh, oh that's beautiful. Oh, wow. <gasps> Michael, it is gorgeous. You wore a black one that was painted on your birthday. Yes. And we were just saying how beautiful it looks on you. Do you remember? You do love me in a barrette. I didn't know that's what they were called. <laughs> I find myself wanting to wear it straight away. It's beautiful. My goodness. It's what a birthday. It looks beautiful on you, too. <laughs> Gosh, he's got such beautiful taste. Yeah, he, he does. Oh, wow. This is another sapphire bracelet. bracelet. That's beautiful. Oh. Does it match the other one? This is the uh, white topaz bracelet. Ah. But look how gorgeous they look together. Yes. Do you want to try it on? Oh, yes, please. There we go. Oh, yeah, you can, you can see the difference now. So that's mm. proper uh, sapphire, like blue, and that's got a more of an iridescent glow. Goodness. That's stunning. There we go. I think you'll be wearing that a lot, won't I you? I am speechless. Mm. I am absolutely speechless, and it really doesn't happen very often. No, I can concur. <laughs> Got an S on it. Oh, wow. <gasps> oh, my goodness. This is the earrings. <laughs> the chandelier drop earrings, and Michael really did mean chandelier when he said chandelier. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Mm. Oh, they're gorgeous. That means I have to take one of these out at least to try these. <laughs> I think you'll be out of balance if you don't take both of them. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Philip? Absolutely incredible. Are you going to take me out on the razzle dazzle now so that I can wear them? Always. But not because of all, apparently. <laughs> and now the final thing in here. And already, look at that case. I love the little box. Can I get into it? There's something inside it. Oh, yes. Oh, gosh. It is rattling. Ah, <gasps> it's the matching necklace. Oh, wow. But it is huge. Look at the blue. Mm. That's such a beautiful this colour. This is the deepest, loveliest blue. Mm. I love sapphire. I think it's probably my favourite oh. gemstone. Mm. Okay, it's going to take us a little while to unravel oh. the... Um, you want um, a pin? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Michael, I'm running out of necks. <laughs> And ears. I was not blessed with enough ears and necks for all the beautiful jewellery that you send me. I just, I love these two together as well. I think I'll quite often wear them together. It's really nice. And I can't believe there is still one final box to open. The final box. <gasps> what a beautiful card. Mm. Happy birthday, Stephanie. Oh, wow. Oh, gorgeous. Happy gorgeous. days. Dear Stephanie, wishing you the best of times. From Marquis to the Michael T. <laughs> the Lady and the Lake. <laughs> Dear Stephanie, 
as a birthday gift for this coming year of great adventures and extraordinary progress with St. Joseph's Chapel, the Grand Salon and the Lac de la Lande renovations and restoration, I hope you will enjoy my small offering in celebration of your special day. The vintage glass front cameo pendant is set in sterling silver and carried by a sterling silver chain. The age of the cameo is unknown, although it is believed to be early to mid 1900s and possibly earlier. I found it to be evocative of the sentiments I sought to express in my dreamlike short tale <laughs> that I entitled The Miracle of the Lady and the Lake. If you choose to wear it, let this beautiful cameo serve as a reminder of the miracles which you have accomplished over many difficult years and the exciting successes that will surely be yours in the years ahead. Mm. Wishing all the best, Michael. And here we have the miracle of the lady and the lake. When you become a lady of a certain age, I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> Michael, that's really confusing for me. One day I'll, I'll understand. It is not always an easy task to recall all the memories of years long past. Though time may dim the edges and soften the emotions, it is the remembrance of grand and joyous life events, along with the most painful, that will stay forever with us. So it is that in spite of every adversity, she could still recall the pride she'd felt when her first new family stood back and, looking at her with admiration, proclaimed her among the most beautiful in the region. Though sincere sentiments were truly deserved, for she was tall and well-built, spacious and well-appointed, and surrounded by generous acreage. All this was greatly enhanced by the most scenic lakeside view set against a peaceful rural background of meadows covered with delicately scented bluebells and a gracefully forested landscape of pines, oak and redwoods. Happy she was and rightfully so, for her family had poured much hard work and a princely sum of money into her upbringing. All their efforts had paid off handsomely. She stood regally surveying the precious land and the lake that helped define her. For many years, through good times and bad, in pleasant weather and the most dreadful storms that threatened to pull her from her very roots, she stood firm. She was everything that her family could ask for and never once did they question her devotion to them nor ever fear for their safety. The Lady of the Lake was home and so she would always be until time and change, as it always will, would take her dear family away. Saddened though she was by her loss, she was soon adopted by another caring and loving family, a family that over many generations would enjoy all the comforts she could offer as well as her challenges. What more could this dear lady ask for but a family to share the land with her, to spend their days in her welcoming arms, to cook, to clean, to laugh, to cry, and to grow up and grow old with her? Alas, after nearly five centuries, the winds of change had inevitably begun to weigh heavily upon her. The once strong and proud lady was truly showing her age, as the winds, the driving rains, the harsh summer sun, and harsher still, the ravages of powerful winter storms had taken their toll. Sadly, she thought her family would have no choice but to soon leave her, abandoned, where she would stand empty and alone, her fate uncertain, her faith shaken, and her very foundations weakened and failing. Yet against all odds, one early spring day, she was awakened from her deep slumber by the sound of voices. Voices that spoke to her of possibilities, of renewal. Despite their words of encouragement, she dared not hope. And when they left her that afternoon, she resumed her troubled sleep. Then, one gloriously sunny summer morning, several uneventful and lonely months later, the voices unexpectedly returned to awaken her once again. Listening intently to every precious word, the voices filled her heart with renewed hope as they carefully pondered how to best work their magic and awaken this long, sad and silent beauty, restoring her in regal splendour like a phoenix rising from the ashes. <laughs> Even the dry lake would be carefully restored to welcome wildlife and invite the return of cheerful songbirds. <laughs> Flushed with excitement at such a long-awaited and glorious turn of events, she was overcome with profound emotion, knowing she would finally be saved from a life of unrelenting decline. With her beauty enhanced and the impressive details of the transformation viewed with wonder and admiration by millions, she would once more warm the hearts and provide comfort to her new family and all those who would visit. There is now no doubt that the extraordinary story of the Chateau de la Lande will become affectionately known throughout France and far beyond as the miracle of the lady and the lake. <laughs> that is wonderful. Michael, you bring tears to my eyes. It's so beautiful. I'm going to keep this in my bedroom. And when the frustrations of the renovations get to me, as they do on occasion, I will read this and feel absolutely renewed energy, which I know I will feel the moment the scaffolding goes up around that chapel. That's <laughs> the day I am waiting for, and it's not too long to wait now. And he writes beautifully. Oh, he? Michael. 
I really, I know that Caddo at the Chateau is ending, but please, please still send us your stories because they give us such joy in the whole house. You've yes. no idea. The final gift of my birthday, 2023. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Oh, that appears to be on a background of lapis lazuli. Stunning oh my cameo. Goodness. Just it's stunning. Very odd of her, isn't it? Yes, and actually quite evocative of uh, the Beautiful. Virgin Mary. So mm. sort of perfect Elizabeth, thinking yeah. about the chapel renovation. With the blue. She's beautiful. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Gosh. Glass and lapis cameo. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, I love her. And there's a chain as well, isn't there? Yes. Shall I add another necklace? <laughs> Why not? I think you should. <laughs> Michael, she's beautiful. It's beautiful on you. I love the colour. Oh, I love how delicate her features are. I don't know if that came across, but she has the most delicate, delicate features. Which are very outfit, Art Deco, way. actually, in, mm. in style. Mm. Her features itself. Then it's more Art Nouveau around it. Mm. My goodness, Michael. But I think it looks very good all together, I'm going to mm. say. Mm. With, with, um, <laughs> with the <laughs> earrings, the <laughs> sash, <laughs> the apron. Oh, yes. But Thank I you. Think the, uh, what do you call it? The, the tiara? Thing. Yeah, birthday look 2023. Mm. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's a, a winner. It's You're going to wear it to dinner today. tonight. Of course. <laughs> I was in about to call some stuff off. No, I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. Thank you, everybody. Um, I can't believe it. I can't believe any of it. I'm going to go and spend the afternoon sewing now. That button is definitely <laughs> going on, wearing all of this. <laughs> Thank you so much, all of you. One more card from Michael that you haven't read out. Dear Stephanie Phillip and wonderful Lalanders, what a special pleasure the Chateau Unwrap vlogs have been. Although when this gift package or the last of one or two possible stragglers are opened, the final curtain will come down on the gift giving and unwrapping in the name of worthy charities. But there may well be other charitable adventures waiting in the wings at Chateau de Lalande. There certainly are, Michael. In any event, thank you for all you do. Your work has brought so many happy and uplifting moments through the vlogs that I so much enjoy. Best of all, we all win. Viewers, charities and, of course, the Chateau. Onward to victory, Michael. Well, we're not at the end yet, Michael, because you'd mark these for my birthday, so Natty moved them forward so that I could open them today. And we do still have a few months, actually, of, of yeah, unwrapping to go. Of months. But I do want to remind everybody that no gifts that are now received are being opened publicly anymore. Only gifts that were received before the beginning of June. But thank you so much, all of you. You've given us an incredible amount of pleasure over the years that we have been mm. opening gifts. And we've passed that joy and happiness kindness on to others by using the ad revenue from these videos to pass to a different charity each month which we are still doing until the end of CADA and then as Michael says there will have to be exciting charitable adventures for the Lalanders yeah. after that and we've got some ideas in the works thank you all again for a wonderful wonderful day thank and you. I look forward to seeing you next week oh no I won't be seeing you next week <laughs> I've just realized there will be no CADA next week I can let you all know because I will be traveling to South Africa Africa to see Mummy and Percy. So Caddo will resume, I think, the week after that, but we'll let you know. So just make sure you click the notification bell and then you'll be notified as soon as the next video is out. But there'll be a tiny pause just whilst I go and see Percy in South Africa. <laughs> Lots of love to all of you. Bye-bye from Leland.